good morning. Here is your Oracle of Heart Wisdom Guidance for the week of October 17th. The 333 In-Depth Reading. And now we begin. What Heart Wisdom can help you now? Your message is... Abundance Blessing. If we are focused on fear for our survival, we can become temporarily blinded to the reality of what we possess internally and the willingness and capacity that the universe has for providing us with more. If it seems that part of our life is in decline, it is simply because the energy of abundance is flowing into another area so that it may prosper. In due course, the flow shall return to rectify whatever matter has been of concern. There is no need to fixate or become afraid. Fears are often a habitual reaction to a distorted perception rather than an accurate reflection of what is taking place. Be kind to the fearful parts of you. Allow them to heal as you open up to the universe, calling upon its generosity and grace to support the healing. There is so much waiting for you. Do not close yourself down. Open your heart and let it in. Press play when you're ready to continue. How can you maximize the positive potential in this moment? Your message is... Your world is changing. Even if your conscious mind cannot yet recognize it, much is shifting in your inner world. There is an inner movement of psychic energies gathering momentum, reverberating through your soul. As you are growing spiritually, you are naturally triggering purification of your soul, and an old trauma is now ready to heal. When the inner self is healing, stored trauma can erupt for cathartic release through sudden emotional outbursts, there may not seem to be an external cause for the emotion. What is happening is healing and therefore constructive. It can feel unsettling and even evoke judgment when one doesn't feel able to handle the emotion. But instead of judging, we can reach out for help. Recognize that you are courageous enough to be healing deep trauma, to reconnect to peace and a sense of solid spiritual ground after such experiences. Remind yourself that your body and soul do know how to heal. It's a natural process. There is something happening that is ultimately positive with long-term effects. You and your world are transforming in the best possible way. Press play when you're ready to continue. How can you attract your best possible future? Your message is relieving joy deficiency. There are times when even the most noble and meaningful pursuits can become wearying to the passionate heart. What once inspired and vitalized you may become burdensome and draining. That does not mean that such goals and pursuits suddenly lack value or are no longer right for you. More often, it means that in your enthusiasm to make progress, you've been pushing too hard and have become disconnected from your inner joy. Can you reconnect with your playfulness? Engage in something silly, good-natured and fun. Make a time when you can set aside serious matters so that you may return to your pursuits with a refreshed viewpoint and mountains have mysteriously transformed into molehills. Give yourself a chance. You shall naturally assume a more constructive and positive outlook. Press play when you're ready to continue. Let's explore your three messages. What heart wisdom can help you now? Abundance blessing. How can you maximize the positive potential in this moment? Your world is changing. How can you attract your best possible future? Relieving joy deficiency. 
to integrate this reading and attract continued assistance from unconditionally loving and wise sources. We say together, may countless blessings unfold in my heart for the highest benefit to all beings. With love and blessings, namaste.